Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look on how to make an insertion sort uh, program. So make sure we're on Visual Basic. And we're going to do it in console application. So we're going to go ahead and let that build and then we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is declare some variables. So the first one, we're going to do a pointer. And we'll talk about what all these mean uh, momentarily. We're going to need number of items. We're going to do that as an integer. Then we're going to have item to be insorted, to be inserted uh, as an integer. We're going to do a list and we're going to make a, an array of a list and we're going to do uh, six, six items. We're going to do that as an integer. And then we're going to do current item as integer as well. So in this data set, we're going to be dealing strictly uh, with numbers and insertion sort will sort the numbers for us and it will do a, a little differently than a bubble sort. There's many algorithms to do sorts. This is an example of an insertion sort. So we'll go ahead and label that here in our documentation just so we know if we ever look at this later on and for some reason we don't read the name of the program, insertion sort program, we'll know that this code is dealing with the insertion sort. So the first thing I want to do is set my number of items to six. And the reason I'm setting my number of items to six is because that's how many I have in the array. Now we could set up in our array a set of predetermined numbers, but that will, for us to check the program to make sure it's sorting correctly, we're going to have to go in over and over and over and change those numbers. So it, uh, for much more efficient and uh, faster testing, we can run a loop that will do that for us. So we're going to do for i equals 1 to 6, a simple for next loop, and we're going to ask to enter a number. So I'm trying to think of the best way to do it because we need to see what's going on too. So we'll do inner item and then i because that will tell us what item number we're on in the sets and we'll write it does not need to be in order because we need to put it out of order because if it's in order well it's already going to be uh, sorted and we won't know that it's actually uh, working so i think that's it's here okay and that's what we need there now what we need to do is we need to store the variables so we're going to do uh, list i equals console dot read line and just a brief review of uh, these four next loops it's going to run six times the first time it runs i is going to be one so inner item one in the set does not need to be in order I need to put my close parentheses uh, there actually needs to go inside there we go uh, and then list uh, uh, list one is console.readline. So inside the array of list one, it will store whatever number uh, they enter. So that will give us the six numbers or the six pieces of data we will use to see if this insertion sort is working uh, properly. So the next thing we need to do is start a for loop and this will actually begin the insertion sort. So we're gonna do for pointer equals two to number of items. Now you might be asking yourself, why are we uh, using pointer two and not instead of pointer one? Well, inside list one, because this is running one to six, we're skipping over list uh, array zero. And in Visual Basic, an array doesn't start with one, it starts with zero. So it's going to throw zero into our set as well because we've declared them as an integer. We need to make sure that we don't hit list zero, we need to make sure we hit list one, and that's why we'll start with pointer two. Pointer two is going to compare the number to what's in list one. If we start with list one, it's going to compare it to zero, and it's going to put zero in our final output, and we need to make sure uh, we don't uh, do that. So um, once we have that, we're going to have item two be inserted equals list pointer and that uh, the pointer is going to be uh, from this for uh, loop running right here and that's going to reference the array and the item to be inserted is the item that we're inserting in the correct spot then we need the current item and we need to store whatever the current item is we can't overwrite or lose a uh, a number so we need to make sure that we have that and we'll go more in depth in just a minute as to what these uh, actually do give myself some space here. So we're still in the for loop and this is the part that actually does the comparing and we'll make it work. So we're going to use a do while loop. And in our do while loop, 
we're going to type this out here and then we'll explain what's actually uh, happening. So you might want to um, pause the video or uh, type in this code and then um, listen as we talk about what it's actually doing. Okay, I think that's uh, everything there. Let's see here. Oh, oop. If we take a look at this do while loop uh, that we've set up here and uh, make sure you have a loop, otherwise you're gonna get a red line under here. And there's gonna be some code we're gonna insert, but it's gonna take a it's gonna take a look at the list current item. And our current item in the first uh, run of the loop is gonna be one. So list whatever is in list slot one. That needs to be greater than the item to be inserted, which is the uh, next uh, item, which is why list pointer. So here, if we run this during the first loop, we have list, whatever is in slot one of the list, has to be greater than whatever is in list uh, slot two, because that's what this is, list pointer two is equal item to be inserted, and the current item needs to be greater than zero. If, all the, if those conditions are true, then the do while loop will execute. Now let's talk about uh, what we're actually gonna put in to make uh, this work. And really it's only uh, two lines of code. So the first thing we're gonna do is list current item plus one. And we're gonna make that equal to the list current item. And the reason we're doing that is because if the current item in slot one is bigger than uh, the item to be inserted, which in this case is current item plus one, because we've looked at back up here, remember on the first loop, we have list two. If list current item, which is one, because that's where we're getting this from, two minus one is one. So if list slot one is greater than list slot two or the item to be inserted, we need to take whatever the current item is and move it below the other number to make sure it's in the uh, right spot or move it uh, above technically in the higher uh, array slot. So that's the first line of code. The second line of code that will make this work is we need to reset the current item, which is current item minus one. And what this will do is it will look at the item above. It will also allow us to exit this do while loop. And the reason it will allow us to exit this do while loop is if you look here, current item has to be greater than zero. So the line of code will check to see if the do while loop is still functioning. And once we get current item to zero, then we will exit the do while loop because current item is set to be greater than zero, not greater than or equal to zero. Now, once we get outside the loop, we can type in uh, the rest. And uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna write uh, something that allows us to see the next item to be inserted. Uh, so we're gonna have list current item plus one, and we're gonna set that equal to the item to be inserted. And the reason for that is because remember, we said the item to be inserted is really like a placeholder. It's gonna hold the value so we don't overwrite what it is. For example, if I go back up here, list current item plus one. We said in the first time it runs, it's going to be uh, two because the current item plus one. If I am pulling a number from list slot two and overriding it with a current item. Well, that's gonna get rid of the uh, value. So the item to be inserted will allow me to put it back where it needs uh, to go into the uh, right place because we have current item minus one. So this will allow us to get to the right place. Now what we wanna do is we wanna write some code that allows us to actually see this taking place. So we're gonna do a console.writeline. line. And we're just gonna write something real quick that allows us to see what the next item to be inserted is. So the next item to be inserted is, and that is item to be inserted. So that'll allow us to see what's, what's happening. And then we wanna pause the program or wait for us to hit uh, enter. So we'll do a console.readline and that'll allow the program to pause. The next important thing is to actually output the numbers to see if they've actually been sorted. So the sorted uh, list is, and we're gonna do item, because we wanna see what the uh, item is gonna be, like uh, item one, item two, or whatever. And we're gonna say is, and then we're gonna do the list, and we're gonna 
do everything in the list, so that's why we have list I. So that will output the program and that will do all of it for us. So I had a set of numbers that I have written down here so we can actually test and see if this if this uh, works. So let's go ahead and save. So really not many that many lines of code that allow it to get working. So let's see if this actually works and it should if we did everything correctly. All right, let's run our program. We can see the output here in our item one in the set reminding ourselves it does not need to be in order and really we shouldn't uh, run uh, any numbers in order or we can do a couple. Uh, we need to see to make sure that the insertion sort is, is working like it should. So uh, we're going to do 81, uh, 37 and these are numbers that we're just making up off the top of our head here. Uh, 29, 63, uh, 57 and we'll do 25. So um, yep, these are all different numbers. So the next item to be inserted is 37. So it's already dealt with item number 81. So it uh, should have put it in the right place, hopefully. So now we're going to look and we're, it's going to do 37. It looks like it's put 37 or it says it's put 37 in the right place. We'll see. Uh, 29 is the next item. Hopefully 63 will be next. It is 57 and 25. Once we hit enter here, we should be able to see the list in order. So in item set one, we originally had 81. That is the largest number here, so it really should be the sixth item in the set. So we're gonna hit enter and make sure this insertion sort actually worked. And it looks like it did. So uh, item one is 25. Item 2 is 29, item 3 is 37, item 4 is 57, 5 is 63, 6 is 81. So it looks like it does work. And we can run this program over and over and over with a different set of numbers and making sure that they all come out correctly. But what the difference between a bubble sort and an insertion sort is the list is built actually at the very end. So we built this at the very end here. So it's going through checking all these, putting them in the right place, and then it will build the final array at the end. And we outputted the array so we could see it. And that's why we outputted the array at the end is so we can actually see the full list once it's fully built. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, post a comment below. We'll see you guys next time.